Yeah, I've got a classic red flyer wagon that my wife loves. And this handle here has been busted off of it. Now, I say it's busted, but what happens is it wobbles a lot. I took this apart and what I'm finding out here is that uh, this side over here is still intact. It has a small quarter inch hole, but over here the plastic piece is busted out. And that's why it's so loose. So I'm gonna try to recreate that out of aluminum. Now surely somebody's gonna listen to that first part and think that I'm gonna recreate this whole handle. But what I'm gonna do is recreate this nub or try to recreate that out of this chunk of aluminum. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. The face of this here part is about two and a half inches, just a little shy. This here is two inches. I see a face on that. And I call it a nipple, a recess, something like that, that will, that will set inside that handle locating it. But what we need to figure out, where my thing go, it's about how big this hole is. An inch and ten. I'm gonna make it an inch and inch and uh, one inch and one hundred and fifty thousandths. So I think that'd be a good press fit. And I'm gonna make this here about a half inch, three quarters inch deep. Yeah, we'll go three quarter. That'll give me enough on the inside when I drill that center hole that it'll ride on the shaft that runs through and holds that together. So, first things first. Now keep in mind, I'm just roughing this out. This is made up in my head. So there are no exact dimensions. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and break the edges on this. All right, I got this down to where I wanted it and I wanted it to be a press fit, but I don't really have the leverage to push it on. So I'm gonna try something hokey. Keep in mind, this is the Fix It channel, not the Machinist channel. So this is probably not what a Machinist would do as far as using the uh, tailstock. Push this on. So I'm gonna turn it on and use the tailstock to push it on and hopefully the heat will round the hole out just right.
Perfect. That's a good tight fit. All right, now turn this around. We'll form the other end. All right, so here's the nub that we need to form on the end of this aluminum. And that's going to be thousands. All right, 908 thousandths. A little, just a fraction less than an inch. I think we can get away with an inch. We'll get to an inch and skin it down. And what I want to do here is leave myself probably 40 thousandths of material back here as a flange. This has a little bit of a taper to it right here on the corner. Do that with a file. So what we got to do is get this down to about an inch. And this is going to be just over a half inch deep. And let me see about, let me think about this. 670 thousandths. I think that's, that's our target right there. So leave myself a little bit here. 670 thousandths out, one inch in diameter. All right, here we go. One inch and sixty-eight thousandths. All right, one inch, we'll take it. All right, I've already measured out where I want to cut. I made it aligned with the pencil. Settled on 55 thousandths. I did say I was going to try and do that outside radius on this corner with a file, so here we go. Regular good machinist would have had some tool for doing that, other than a file, I'm certain. All right. So let's go test fit this on the wagon and see how it looks. All right, so here's where we're trying to fit into. That appears to line up all right. All right. Let's put that in the handle, see how it goes together. All right, so there's our part. Replaces that one right there. Okay. Fits right in there like a glove. Find a hole. There it is. Put this button back on there. And we are in business. All right, so that's how you fix your red wagon. Hey, if you like what you've seen, be sure and follow this channel and please subscribe. Thanks. Doggone kid won't even play with the wagon now. The dog has more interest in the wagon than the kid. I get no respect, I tell you. No respect. Hey, one more thing. Uh, this is the first video I've tried with uh, music to cover up the machine sound. If you think I've done a good job, please tell me in the videos. If you think I need to do something a little better, please tell me that also. I'm learning. Thanks.